Hi everyone, it's Tiffany and I am back with another part of the Star Stable update this week. So this is the main part of the update. We got a new little quest line going on that has to do with Sigrid and the election in Mistfall. And it's titled Election Day in Dundal. So, the time has come for the people of Dundal to cast their votes. Who will be the future leader of this picturesque little town? Councilman Skull and his, is determined to remain in office in spite of his failings. And now it's up to you and Reina to help Sigri win the election. To be able to do these quests, you need to have completed the quest where Sigri rests up before the election. So the ones we just did, oh goodness, was it like three weeks ago, something like that? not sure when that was <laughs> it was kind of fairly recently uh also there is an update to the cows around town all over Yorvik, really and they look absolutely adorable and the horse market is in Silverglade village this week so let's go ahead and start this little quest to quest line we have reina here we need to talk to she says tiffany is that you thank goodness i really could use your eyes mama is already at the already at the rally but she got her speech notes these notes must be around here somewhere we had to find them quick mama is set to give her speech any minute now so let's look for the speech notes like are they all around like scattered oh wait here's sparklies sparkly 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 okay nothing there where else should we go? I don't know where to look. Does she mean like... <gasps> kitty! There's kitty on the porch. Does she mean like around the house? Oh, she probably just means around the house. I was like, where would she have lost... Why would she have lost them up there? Anyway, we'll just look around the house and see if we can find any. I love these flowers. Are they like bluebells or something like that? That's what they look like. I mean, they're kind of purple. Anyway, let's see. I'm stuck. And I just realized there's a boat there. Oh, there's some right here. Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, let's go back to Marina and see what she has to say. How is my horse thirsty already? Goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness you found him. She's been so nervous about her speech. I would hate for her to freeze up without her notes. We have to get to mom. Uh, oh, no, that's not what it says. We have to get to mama her notes. She's at the rally in the middle of town. Let's go. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, you're gonna go ahead of me. All right, that's cool. That's cool, whatever. Okay, um, that's not the middle of town. I would expect the middle of town to be the, um, like over there. But I guess it's over kind of by the ranger station or is it here? Oh no, it's here. I guess this could, yeah, this makes sense. It definitely is the middle of the town. Okay, let's, I can't find you, there you are. Oh no, we're too late. We're too late, I missed the speech. My notes! How could I go up there without my notes? You don't need them, Sigri. Just speak from your heart. What is it? Raina would say. Uh, trust in yourself? Raina. If she can trust in me, then I owe to her to try. Okay. H Hello, everyone. Mama, you can do this. My granny used to tell us that the shieldsman's spirit... <clears throat> excuse me, spirit runs in the Varanger blood. Well, I can't say if it's true, but I can tell you this. Dundle has been home to my family for generations. And when I say I will fight for you as councilwoman, it's because fighting for Dundle is the only thing I know how to do. We Dundallers look out for one another. We listen, we help out. We might not have much, but what we've got, we share. We don't sign away our precious resources or to corporations. Now, I might not live in a big house like Skull, but I hope that you know that sh you that you know that should what? But I hope that you know that should you need a bed to sleep in or warm meal, you are always welcome at the Ranger's house, whether you grew up here or even if you're newly arrived like me. If you stand for Dundle, your family. Say great, say great, say great, Mama. <laughs> Ooh, she's got, she's gonna win this. She's totally gonna win. Let me know in the comments down below. Pause the video and let me know if you think Sigri's gonna win the election. I totally think she's gonna win the election. She's super awesome. So anyway, back to it. Mama killed it, didn't she? I can feel the energy from the crowd. Skull will have a hard time following up that speech. Oh, I think he's about to start. We can check in with Mama when he's done. I'd like to thank my good friend Sigri for her moving speech. Dundallers look out for one another. 
I couldn't have said it better myself, but you don't need to be in government to help your neighbor. Being a leader isn't like hosting a potluck, no offense Sigri, whose casserole is out of this world. It's true, there was a bit of misunderstanding about the water recently, but if I hadn't take, taken such measures, we would have to, had to close the stables, and Miss Shorthouse House wouldn't have received the Fox vaccina vaccines. And we would have had to shut down the ranger station. A leader has to make hard choices, and that's why you need someone with experience standing up to Yorvik City. So, who are you going to trust? A well-meaning shipbuilder with no experience in government, or someone who has a dedicated past the eight years to keeping you safe? Has dedicated. I can't even read today. I don't know. He has some good points. Sigri, but does she have the experience? Four more years. That's what I thought. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't know about her winning now. What if Skull is right? What if I don't have what it takes? This is, was a huge mistake. <sighs> Thank you for believing me, but Skull is right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the people of Dundle deserve a leader who know, who knows how all this works. I ne never should have gotten my hopes up. No, no, you can't give up. Don't say that, Mama. You're just letting the snake skull get under your skin. You heard the crowd. They love you. They trust you. May maybe so, but then Skull spoke, and it's like they forgot how he sold the town out. <laughs> Experience is all that matters in the end. Please don't give up now, Mama. Come election day, they'll remember who has the best interests at heart. Okay, Reyna, I'll do this for you. Not for me, for Dundle. This is our home, Mama. It deserves the best leader. When you put it like that, I can't let Skull win. That's right. That's right. You get him, Sigri. Get him. Get him, girl. I hate hearing Mama's confidence shaken like that, but I can't blame her. She's never done anything like this before, but with the two of us helping out, she's got nothing to worry about. What are we going to do now, Raina? People are so fickle. One moment they're cheering on Mama, the next they're back to boosting Skull. What we need to do is remind them that Mom, all that Mama has done for them. And if they're on the fence, find out what it would take to get their vote. I know just where to start. Jolene Moss Hart runs the stable here in Dundle. Mama's helped her out with carpentry, repairs, and even spotted the, st spotted the stable hay when the stable was struggling. Now that Dundle's open to visitors again, Jolene could probably use a hand in her gentle reminder about how who helped her stay business stay afloat. Wow, I can't speak today. <laughs> Dundle and I will meet you at the stables. Okay, let's go to the stables. We gotta, we gotta get Sigri, get Sigri back on track here. Okay, I probably should have cut through the other way. Oh, well, I'll just go this way. Longer way, but it'll be fine. Where is she? Um. Oh, there she is. Oh, I never even really noticed her there. Was she always there? Howdy, and welcome to Dindle Staples. You're not here for the... Tasty Trotter's Trail Ride Picnic, are you? No? <laughs> what a relief. In that case, you're welcome to look around, but I can't really help you look right now. I've got a half a dozen horses on the way, and these horses aren't even ready. You're still here? <laughs> I told you, this isn't a good time. Too much to do. Uh-oh. If things are as busy as, the, as the, all that, why don't you ask for help, Jolene? Raina, it's so nice to see you and Dillinger again. I hear we have you to thank for getting those fake doctors to skip town. It was a team effort. Like my mom always said, there's no problem that can't be solved when you trust your fellow citizens. That's why she's running for councilwoman. I'm sure she can count on your vote, right, Jolene? Well, it's funny you should ask. You know, I love Sigri, but Councilman Skull stopped by after the rally and told me that he has big plans for Dundle small businesses. He's been talking with a marketing team in York City for a small investment. If he promises from, if promises from Skull were all your stable had for assistance, you would have to shut down years ago. Meanwhile, Mama's always been there for you, hammer in hand, ready to help. You said you're swamped with work. Just tell us what to do. You're right. Here. 
Here's how you girls can help. I've got six horses that need saddling, lynches that need packing, and a trail guide that's gone missing. If you can help me tie up those loose ends, I can be sure everything else is ready for Tasty Trotter's big ride. No problem, Jolene. We're on it. You can always count on the rangers to get stuff done. Okay, I guess we're doing that. Where are you? There you are, girl. After the things we did to save Dundle's water stable chores are awfully mundane. At least she doesn't need help with mucking, right? <laughs> true. Very true. Let's start by sidling the horses for your old Jolene's guests. You need to- you can handle that on your own, right? I can smell the saddle leather from here so you can just have everything you need. I'll ride ahead and check up on the picnic lunches for the trail ride. Meet me at the cafe when you're done here. So we gotta pick up the saddles, Jolene's set out at the stables and put them on the horses. So I don't know where that's at, like where we're gonna do that, but we'll figure it out. Probably in the fence. Okay. Oh, they're right there. How convenient. Yeah, they definitely weren't there before, I don't think. This had to have been part of the update. Unless I just never noticed them before. Pretty sure they weren't there. No, they definitely weren't there. Okay, we got the saddles. I probably have to dismount. Let me just check to see if I can do it. Oh, my inventory is a little on the full side, by the way. That's from, like, last week's update. And then I never had a chance to clean it out. That's okay. I'll get to it. I will figure it out. Let's go over here, this saddle, my little beautiful, are these all, no, they're all different breeds, right? I think, so this is a North Swedish, not this one that I'm standing next to, <laughs> or is it, wait, I don't know, it's definitely not, I don't think, anyway, let Raina know that you're done, okay, where is Raina, where is she? Raina? Oh, she's up here, I think. Wait, where is she? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'll figure it out. Oh, that car was in the way. Oh, she's probably back at the town center, right? Or maybe she's over by the ranger station. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll just keep going. Yeah, she has to be by the center of the town. So we'll head there now. My horse is a little on the thirsty side. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Rainbow Beauty. I'm sorry. Hopefully I can get Rainbow Beauty leveled up very soon so we can bring out another little friend. Where's Raina? Raina? Oh, over here. She's hiding over here. What is she doing? The horses are ready with the saddles and bags. Great, because the picnic supplies are all ready for packing. The picnic lunches are ready, but the order is too big to fit in one saddlebag. You'll have to carry the box of supplies on your back for the on the ho of the horse, and we can pack it properly by, by the stables. Okay, sounds good. Oh, we have to do the whole be careful thing. Whoops. Okay, um, where are we going to the stables? So it'll be alright. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I got this. We should cut through there. No, I don't know. I think if we cut, it might harm that. I don't want to not be in control there. So I'll go to the sea and careful and slow down. Because we got to walk. Is Raina coming too? I missed it. I guess she's not coming. <laughs> I'll have to wait, but it's okay. So we got our lunches. We're just going to... Oh, there's the foxes. Look at that little happy little fox. Oh my gosh, there's the gray one. Hello, I want all of you. I would love to have, you know, I wish we could have little houses on here on Star Stable. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Let's see. Cut through here. Okay, we made it. We made it in one piece. Is Raina here? Oh, there she is. Those lunches smell delicious. I don't suppose there were any sandwiches left after you packed the saddlebags. <laughs> Just kidding. Almost done. Now all we need to do is find Jolene's guide. She must mean Alonzo. You know, from the Jorvik Rangers. He's really popular with the visitors, especially the women. I wonder why. Anyway, there's no need for both of us to go. Could you ride up the ranger station and let Alonzo know that Jolene is waiting for him? Sure, no problem. Well, I'll just go grab the tour guide there. It's quite a bit away, but it's fine. I can always call for pickup to come back home, which is wonderful. I love that. <laughs> And my horse needs a little snacky snack. She's not having it today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little friend. But at least she's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the pretty rainbow. 
Whee! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, friend. Okay, we are about halfway to the ranger station. I'm kind of losing my voice. Don't know why. <clears throat> Going to the ranger station to get Alonzo. I hope he's there. If he's missing or whatever, I'm just going to be like, oh, geez, Alonzo, no. Uh oh, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Whew. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you better be here. Okay. The Tasty Trotters Trail Ride Picnic is today. How could I have forgotten? Of course I'll be there. I just need a moment to pack up a few maps and field guides for today's trail ride. Would you mind riding ahead and letting Jolene know I'm on my way? Sure. What I'm going to do is just cheat, 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 and uh, call for pickup. <laughs> okay. Jolene. Oh, wait. Don't I have to tell Jolene? The Tasty Trotters Riding Club will be here any minute. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh my gosh. It's a red van. Hello? Oh, hi, friends. Aw, they look like they're ready to go riding. They're here. Oh, dear. I hope everything is ready. Welcome to Dental Stables. We have quite a ride plan for you today. Now, if you follow me, your horses for today are saddled and ready to go. What a sweet horse. Those watches smell great. Now, all we're missing is... Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I heard you could use a guide to show you all the beautiful sights Miss Fall has to offer. <laughs> oh, beautiful sights. <laughs> right now, Tiffany, it looks like everything is going to work out after all. You really saved my, my beacon, just like Sigri has done in the past. It was our pleasure, Jolene. True dundlers help each other, no strings attached. I was wrong to think of backing skull over someone who has always had my best interest at heart. Sigri has my vote, and you can bet I'll be telling my friends to do the same. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a trail ride to manage. See you girls around. Best of luck with the election. All right, where's Raina? Raina, 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 Raina. That was good news, Raina. Helping people is so much fun. I love doing this even if we didn't have voters to win over. And I know just who to help out next. When exploring the woods, you have you ever noticed a little cottage set apart from the town where a horse there's a horse and an herb garden? The young woman who lives there, Cora, is so nice but very shy. I respect her privacy and never ask too many questions about what she does in the woods. But maybe we should be more curious. After all, she's still a member of the community and her voice is important too. Let's race to Cora's cottage. Meet you there. I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Okay, we gotta actually race. Okay. This will be fine. I'll just go a little on the slow side because I need to... Okay, we're going this way. I don't know why all the races cut through this little orchard here. Okay, let's see. Sorry, guys. There's like a really high-pitched dinging in the background. I apologize. That is an alarm we have set, so I can't exactly stop it in the middle of the race. Maybe I'll go stop it after the race. <laughs> oh, up here. Okay, I know what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, what are we going to do next, Raina? Mm -hmm. I can't. There we go. Ugh, I have to move forward. <laughs> It's so beautiful out here with all the sounds and smells of the forests all around you. I can understand why Kara loves to live out here. I mean, I love it. I want to live here. Actually, it's really nice. We shouldn't crowd her. You stay here and I'll go say hi. Hey. Hello, Kara. It's nice to see you again. I hope we aren't bothering you. But there's something we need to... I know why you're here. You, you do? Your mom is running for council and you're looking for votes. Are... Are you psychic? A little bird told me. Oh, so someone else came here first. Was it Skull? No, literally, a little bird told me. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. Beeper is a friend. So you probably know that the election is happening soon to elect a new council leader for Dundle. Do you know who you're going to vote for? Well, obviously I would vote for your mother if it were up to me, but you see, I can't just vote for myself. The wishes of the animals must be heard too. Wow, this is me. Like, this is me. <laughs> the birds are quick. They're overwhelmingly for your mother, but the squirrels are leaning towards skull. 
That's nuts. And why would Scarls have an opinion on this uh, uh, election anyway? How rude. I don't know if I want to vote for your mother after all. I'm sorry, I just I just never considered. Of course you didn't. It was an honest mistake. We love animal horses. Everyone loves horses. Not just horses. We saved the local wolf pack from the people who are making them sick. And one of my best friends is a veterinarian. Well, I want to trust you. There is one little thing I could use some help with as long as you're offering. It's an honor to speak with you, Tiffany. May Aideen's light shine on you. If you want to secure my vote, then here is what you can do. Oh. I may live alone, but I have friends to the north, you know. People friends, I mean. Not that it matters. Anyway, these friends count on me to collect certain rare mushrooms that grow in Mistfall. The mushrooms are called blue moon caps because they only grow during certain lunar cycles. You'll find them down by the shore of the lake. If you can find the mushrooms and deliver them to my friends in Valedale, that should give me enough time to get a uh, consensus with the animals about voting for Sigri. Valedale? I've never been. Tiffany, could I ride double with you? This will be fun. My friend lives in the little house across from the bridge near the base of the waterfall. Okay. Let's go down to the shore. Um, which shore is it exactly? I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. I'm assuming this one over here because of the orange. So we'll have to get our mushrooms. And I think I might do a little cheaty cheat and transport there because, well, you guys, it's a long way to Veildale. So <laughs> we're just going to jump over there. I guess this is not the shore. Nope, this is definitely not the shore. Sorry about that, Reina. Let's go this way. There's a lot of shores. I hope we don't have to go to all of them. Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. They look pretty. I love them. Okay, we gotta pick five of them. And there's three here. Okay, so we'll have to go one more place. Let's see. I gotta look on the map. Okay, that's the wrong way. We're gonna have to go this way. To this one way over here. Yep. Okay. Nope, that's not the road. This is the one we need right here, right? Correct? Sorry. Sorry, Rainbow Beauty. Sorry. Oh, yeah. This is the... Sh there's a shore down here. Yeah? Yeah, this is where we caught those people. So there has to be some down here. Has to be. Nope. I went to the wrong one, didn't I? Is there one up there? I'm confused. Okay, no big deal. I'm gonna have to get my horse and water. We'll trans I'll transport back, go to Veildale, and then after we get the mushrooms, of course, we'll get we'll get it we'll get it handled. It'll be okay. Is there a shore over here? Uh, any? We're like literally on top of where they would be. Maybe there's a shore here that I didn't know about. No. Oh, there they are. They're not on the shore. What's that? Oh, well. Okay, so we'll get these picked up. We only need one more, and then we'll transport back. And then I'm going to give my horse some water, and we'll go to Veildale. Right now, we are on our way to Veildale Village. So there's a little house across from the bridge. Is that what it was? I'm not sure. I'm going to assume... Oh! Almost ran into the rock. So, like, kind of by Avalon, maybe? Oh, maybe it is Avalon. I wonder if Avalon's the friend. I bet it is. Avalon's such a fun guy. I adore Avalon. Here we go. It is Avalon. Wow. Okay. Why, hello, Tiffany. What brings you here? Elizabeth didn't mention any urgent messages. Missions. Is the world in danger again? Missions? What kind of urgent missions? Oh, you're not alone. <laughs> I was referring to a, a role-playing ca campaign that Tiffany Core and I are involved in. Elizabeth is our game master. Like those games that sell at the Purple Pony at the mall? Huh. I don't really see the point of games like that when there are so many real adventures to be had. Yes, well, to each their own. Oh, those blue mooncaps from Miss Fall? Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to have those. For your... Role-playing campaign? Exactly. Well, I'll be going now. Time to uh, memorize spells for the fighting dragons and whatnot. 
Okay. I didn't realize you and Kara had mutual friends. That's cool. What a small world. What is your friend Avalon like? There's something about his voice. I bet he has a lovely face. Thanks for bringing me along for the ride. We probably shouldn't linger. The election is coming up fast and we still have much to secure vote to do to secure votes for Mama. We should ride back right away. Okay, cool. Fun fact. Can just call for pickup, so that's brilliant. I love being at Miss Fall. It's such a wonderful town. Okay, let's see. Do we have to go to her? The the girl? I think we may have to go to that girl. Probably, huh? Can we just cut up this way? Let's see if we can. Ooh, I think we can. Look at us go. Taking shortcuts. Okay. Let's see. Thanks for making the delivery for me. I hate going to Vale Dale. It's so, there's so many people there. This is, she's literally me. Guys, she's literally me. All right, I finished polling my forest friends and aside from a few dissenters amongst the hedgehogs, the animals are overwhelmingly for Sigri. Your mother has my vote, Reyna. All right, cool, 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 accomplished. What an odd girl. Such a way with animals. And I thought Tellinger and I had such a strong bond. I have to admit, wrangling and votes has turned out to be a lot more work than I expected. We don't have much time left before the election. There's one more person I'd like to check in with. Christy Griswold. She's pretty new to the area, but her grandfather Burke was a good friend of Mama's. Christy lives out on the old farm west of Dundle along the old Yarvik Highway. Her home is so far from town she might forget to show up for the election. We can't let that happen. I think I know exactly where she's talking about. It's pretty far. Like, so far that we may as well go to Fur instead. Let me see. Yeah. Honestly, probably would be faster to go to Fur Grove, but we're just kind of going to go and and see where this takes us at this point. I don't know. Uh, I might... Yeah, we'll, we'll just go this way. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll take some cuts or something. I don't know. There's not really any cuts to be had. We just kind of have to go along this road. We'll, we'll observe the beauty. Like, I love those trees. Those, oh, they're so beautiful. Like, this whole place is so beautiful. And look at the sea. It's so pretty. Oh, we can cut through here. I think. And then, um, where are some other, I, I love the little flowers. The flowers are just so nice and colorful here. But the trees... I mean, of course, they have the pine trees, which are boring, but they're still super cool. I just love it here. It's so brilliant. Okay. So, I think we probably should just jump cut to... Oh, we're almost there, actually. We're going quite fast. We're going faster than I thought we would be going. So, we're almost there. Almost there. Da, 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 da. Is that from, what's, what song is that from? That's like a Disney song or something. Anyway, we're almost there. <laughs> and we look, it looks like we have a friend here. She's, she must be going there too, I would assume. Okay, I wonder if I cut over that mountain. That probably, or not mountain, but that hill. I don't think that'll do much. We'll just jump this rock. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. And we should be, there should be a path here. Yes. There's a little mailbox there. I love it. She is also me so far for location. But I think that other girl was mostly me. Okay. Now let's check out this area. It's so beautiful here. This is like, this is where I would live. Probably. In one of these two places. Okay, let's see. You! You have a horse! You must know farm things. Help me. Sorry for freaking out on you there. I just moved here from Yorvik City and I'm all alone out here and I'm up to my neck in responsibilities. Your grandfather was a friend of the family. It's so nice to see someone living here on the Grange again. Thanks, Raina, right? I remember meeting you a few summers back. You were pretty shy back then. I don't- Chicken! <laughs> I don't remember you having a horse though. You've become quite the rider. Dellinger is my seeing eye horse. He's opened up the world. Thanks to him, I got to meet Tiffany here. You don't understand what a relief this is. Farming in real life is so much more work than in video games. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I was going through my grandpa's letters and it seems like he did a lot of business with someone called Steve. No less name to Steve. Just a common name. I know this is probably a long shot, but do you know any farmers named Steve? <gasps> you do? Great. Maybe you could check in with him about my crow crisis and crop conundrums. Oh, Steve like Steve. Blue's Clues Steve? According to my grandpa's ledger, the last time he needed to repair his den, he called on someone named Big Bonnie. That can't be a real person, can it? How could we ever track her down? What's that? You actually know her? That's great! You maybe can ask her to drop by when she has time? Okay. She's in Silver Glade, too. When I first arrived here, this kid Andy showed up with a chicken. He said it was a housewarming gift, no strings attached, but if I needed more animals, I should give him a call. What's this? It's their farm without, a What's a farm without animals, right? I ordered a complete set of livestock, the old McDonald collection, he called it. Well, I'll have the animals arrive, but I haven't had seen ha I haven't seen hide nor hair of the heifers he promised. Could you track down this Andy character and see what's holding them up? All right, so the plan right now is i'm gonna call for pickup i'm gonna go to silver glade talk to steve and big bonnie and then we'll transport to fir grove and talk to andy and then we will come back that way via fir grove because that'll be kind of easier so let's go to steve's farm steve's farm is a quick ride in the trailer he's just right outside his trailer too so we'll go ahead and ask him about the crow conundrum that she's having she probably just needs a scarecrow or something <laughs> okay here we go here we go here we go load 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 i want to go talk to these people okay here we go talking to steve first let's say hi to steve hey there tiffany it's been a while what can i do for you kirsty griswold she wouldn't be related to Burke Griswold, would she? Oh, she? Yeah? Oh, she? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Me and Burke went way back. He was like a mentor to me back when I first opened my farm. So it would be an honor to return the favor and help his granddaughter get her footing. It sounds like the first thing she needs is a good scarecrow. The thing is, crows these days don't frighten easily. Sackcloth and streaks just doesn't frighten them anymore. You gotta raise the stakes. Here's what you can do. I remember holding, I remember seeing a bean of old Halloween costume over by Donald's shop in town. Pick out one of those. I think there's no rake by the shed there you can use for a pole. Grab some hay from the stable where you're at. You, when you got the components, come see me again. Okay, that's a lot to remember. Okay, let's grab some hay. Uh, hay, and then, well, I guess we're going to talk to Big Bonnie, so we can just go get the costume costume when we go talk to big bonnie i don't know she might need some stuff done too this is just like one of those things where you know you help somebody but they need help and then you have to help the people that need help the help the helps you know there's so many helping oh so many helping so much helping okay here we go we got the costumes okay let's see if we can swing by big bonnie's first i think our house is right here somewhere yeah this one i think okay Hi, Bonnie. Can you just head over there instead of me doing stuff? Great ground and gears at you again. What the emergency this time, Tiffany? Is it fly time flying away again? Let me get my net. What's that? Someone needs a mechanic to help at Burke's Grange. I love that old farm. When I close my eyes and picture a farm, that's what I see in my mind. No offense to state, but the Burke's Griswold really nailed the whole family farm aesthetic. If his granddaughter needs help with the machinery, she can count on Big Bonnie. <laughs> Let me just grab my tools and I'll head over to the grange. Hold on now, they're gone. Uh-oh. That really throws a wrench in my plan. A metaphorical wrench of mine. Mind you, these won't work in real life. How could I have been such a fool leaving dangerous in implements like that all over town? The councilman finds out he'll have me run out of town like a granny sack. Which is how I was running this town. Come to think of it, in any case, we've got to find those tools before Sibley falls into ruin and despair. Okay. <sighs> Just gonna find the tools. No big deal. We'll just find them. It's gonna be easy. There's a little searchy hidey thing over here. We'll grab that. Right here. Oh, there's one behind the house too. Hopefully they'll just be here. Behind the house. That would be great. Nope. Didn't it? Did it not work? Ooh, we got a hammer. Got a hammer. Let's see. I wonder if we have to go all around. I guess we would have to go all around town. There's just not enough room around here. 
Okay, let's see. There should be... Ah, can we click it? Okay. Let's see. Is there any other... Sparklies? Sparkly, sparkly, sparklies. Oh man, I can't see any, so we might have to go around the houses, maybe? Maybe that's where they're at, in like the grassy areas. I don't see any sparklies, though. I guess I'm outside. I need to go into the orange area. Let's see. Tools, tools. They're like right here, you know? We're in the center of the orange area. Oh, here's more sparklies behind the vet's office. Okay, we got a screwdriver. So we just need one more. Wonder where it would be. Maybe it's behind these buildings here? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Over here? Maybe? Well, no, this is technically the same spot. Because if you go in the- oh, there it is. There's the sparklies. Okay. How did I miss those? Please be there. Please be there. I don't think it is. Ah, uh, okay. Um, there has to be sparklies here somewhere that I'm missing. Oh my goodness. Maybe they're over here? No. Hmm, maybe they're like right outside the wall? No. Well, we're almost, well, we're by Steve, so let me go tell Steve I have all his stuff before I forget. Here's Steve. Perfect. Now watch closely while Pat Pat here and there and a couple handfuls of straw. Scarecrow is so terrified with her growth with what with, with a fright. Go ahead, take the scarecrow back to Kirsty and let her know I'll be around soon to help her out. Okay, thanks Steve. Have a good day. I really need to find this last sparkly. I don't know where it's at, you guys. I really don't. It's like literally in the center of the town. And I don't see any sparkling. It has to be here somewhere. But where? I'm gonna try to look in the bushes over here. Did I look behind Donald's house? I did. Who knew this last one would be so difficult to find? So it's just not where it's at. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, it's right over there. I might have to stop filming and then uh, come back when I find it. Because this actually might take a long time. I'm like, because it's in the center. I'll go right on top of it. Maybe it's here. No, no sparkling. Just like, let's see, maybe. It has to be here. But where? Maybe it's in the tower. Could it be in the clock tower, maybe? I mean, Bonnie did go in there, so... Let's try it. I mean, this is the last... last. Re oh my gosh, it is here. <laughs> well, good thing I thought to say... Think, good thing I thought to think that, because we wouldn't have never... We would never found it. Okay, we'll take it back to Bonnie, and... Get down these stairs eventually here, and then we'll take it to Bonnie. How do I get out of here? Up oh, down here. And where's my horse? There he is, right there. Get back on the horse. And then we have to go to, oh, what's his name? The chicken guy, Andy. Here you go, big Bonnie. Oh, I didn't read what she said. <laughs> now that I've got all my things, I get over to see Kirsty two shakes of a lamb's tail, which is one and a half shakes full grown ewe's tail if you're one on the metric system. Come think of it, it's a long drive to Burke's Grange. It's possibly maybe inevitable that those toes will get lost on their way over. Probably best that you take them there you said you, the only thing I have to lose again is my sail. I'll tell Kirsty I'll be there shortly to get her machines going again. Okay, so I am going to go to the transport over here and go to on our way back, on our way to the transport. 
Transport, transport to Fergrove. Fergrove, Fergrove. Right. Oh, I hate when that disappears. Fergrove. Okay. So we will go to Fergrove, go to Andy, go back, and that should be it. And we'll see. They'll probably be like, we won't know the vote, the, the election results until next update. <laughs> I hope we find out who wins today. After all this work. This is actually a lot of questing. A lot more questing than I thought for, um, for an update, so, for just a small update. But we are almost at Andy's already. So here we go. He should be right over this hill right there. I think that's where he's at. It's been a while since I wanted to see him. So hopefully he has our stuff. Our heifers, which are cows. Okay. Tiffany, what brings you to this deck of the woods? Oh, wait, what's he? I forget his accent. <laughs> Kirsty's cattle haven't showed up yet? Oh, dear. As you can see, I've got plenty of chickens and sheep here by supply, but for cows, I have to order a way special. Kirsty's crowds were running late, but they should have reached her by now. Oh, what's wrong with the cows? I sent them out with a map and everything. They must have gotten lost in their way. Maybe you can help wrangle them. Check the tunnel between here and this fall. If you find any straight cows, give them a little prod and send them on their way. And tell Kirsty I'll be stopping by soon to answer any questions she might have on your new barnyard buddies. Okay. Alright, so... What? <laughs> so we just... We're just gonna look on the way there? Like, are they on the... Okay, I think I see some orange on the map. At least I don't have to report back to Andy because that would be kind of annoying to go all the way back. Uh, we just got to kind of go to this red, red, orange dot on the map and I'm hoping that the cows will be there. I think that's so funny. I gave them a map and everything. That's hilarious. Okay. Almost to the orange spot. Should be here soon. Orangey spot. Where are you? La 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 la. I don't, there we are. <gasps> Hello! So we did get cow updates, so I'm wondering, is this the new cow? I think that's a new cow. The cow starts to follow you. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh, she's following me! Ah! Oh my gosh, hello! What if we went, like, really fast, though? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I'm freaking out. Okay, what's this? Cow recognizes the road and starts to walk home. Oh, okay, so we have to find another cow. Oh my gosh, these cows are the cutest little cows in the entire world. Looks like me and Annie Oak Forest are doing the same thing. So let's, let's see. Okay, come on. Come on, little cowie. I'm gonna see if we like run really, really fast. Oh my gosh, look at it. so pudgy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. Okay, now. Oh, look at him go! Oh gosh, he's so cute. Okay, we need one more. Or were there three? I don't know. Oh wait, is there one on the way? I think there's one on the way in there. Looks like it. On the map. Let's see. We'll find out. We should be coming up on him real quickly. Yeah, it's a brown one. A chocolate cow. Chocolate milk cow. Cow starts to follow you. Okay. Look at you. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't handle it. Okay, where's the little mark in the road? Oh, here we go. Okay. He is adorable. Let's go check on all of the cows and have a good time. Wait, where's the... Oh, there's an... Wait, is there another cow? Oh, I missed it. I missed the little pop-up thing. I think there's another cow, actually. Let's go see. How many cows are there? <laughs> I bet there's five cows. Unless there's two two browns, two regular. The cow starts to follow you. Okay. Come on, little cow. Come on, my little cowie. Let's head there now. We're almost there. Wait, where's the... Oh, there it is. Sparklies. Yay! He's going home. So is there more? Oh, nope, nope, we're good. The cows are all going back. Hopefully they're all there. I don't know if they'll all be there. Okay. Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh my 
gosh, they're so cute, you guys. Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're freaking out. I love them. They're gonna go live in here. Oh, look at them. They're going. Oh my gosh, this one's laying down. Okay, I want to live here. Officially. It's happened. This is where I want to be. Okay, let's go over here. Oh. I gotta give her all of my stuff. Oh, where am I going? I'm using the wrong keys. That is why I'm going forward. Okay. And we have a toolbox. We have... What do we have to give her now? Scarecrow. There it is. Okay. Um, can you get rid of that? Oh, no. When you know the cows came home, thanks for your help wrangling those cows, and if you say Andy will be coming by, I can't wait. What's this, a scare scarecrow? Oh, it's so cute. Steve is sure this will keep the scarecrows away. Well, no harm in trying. Thanks for connecting me with Steve. I can't wait to find out more about him. Whatever she said. <laughs> and, oh, I got, I got liked with Dundle. You brought tools? I guess I could just take a hammer to the old tractor and hammer the mess, but I was hoping Bonnie would offer a bit more specifics. Oh, Bonnie is coming herself? That's great. I can't wait to meet her. Assuming everyone you talk to follows up, I should have all the help I need in getting this farm back up and running. <gasps> is this is this the help? Did they all carpool? I bet they all carpooled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at them. They're having a good time. Oh! To them call for a crop expert, just put me in the your problem or I just fell the smell of fertilizer. Oh my, Rusty Ranch, how could I have neglected your grandpa's equipment for so long? It's where the whole farm hadn't exploded. Howdy, Miss Griswold. I sure about the delay of the cows. I'll take 10% off your next order. Whoa, you all came. This is so amazing, like my own private heat guide for farming. You know, you know, I bet I can get this old trailer up and running. Then it would be easier for folks to come visit your farm. <gasps> Billy, that would be great. Your chickens are looking a bit on the slender side. Let's talk about the upping their feed. And while I'm here, have you considered adding alpacas to your collection? Weave of the future. Alpacas, huh? M maybe I'll hold off for now. <laughs> You're lost. Tiffany, thank you so much for finding me help and getting my farm back up and running. And Raina, you can count on me for coming into town for the election. Not that I'm committed for voting for anything, anyone right now. No, of course not. You should vote with your conscience. Just wanted to help out because it's right. Not to buy a vote. <laughs> that was me winking. <laughs> of course, I'm voting for Sigri. Oh, well, she won't let you down. It was nice seeing you again, Raina. And it was truly a pleasure to meet you, Tiffany. Come back soon, okay? As much as I'd like to help more people around Dundle, I don't think there's time. We should go check in with Mama. The election is almost here. All that effort to show three people that they can always count on the Rangers. Skull would probably say we're wasting our time, but I think the work we've done really matters. Community is about trust, right? And that goes both ways. A trust word will get around. As much as I would love to keep helping people in the community, we're out of time. Let's head home and see Mama before the election. Didn't Bonnie say something about fixing the horse transport? We can always take that back to Dundle to save time. Or you're welcome to ride along the road on Rainbow Beauty. Let's meet up my home as soon as you can. So we now have a trailer here, which I'm so excited for because this is my home. Like, this is my home. <laughs> like, I'm the girl that lived at the cottage in the woods, but this is my home. I just want to throw that out there. Actually, I could just call for pickup instead of using it. So, call for pickup. So, there's a trailer. I'm so excited. I'm, I bet that's going to mean there's, like, some more things that are going to happen around here, which is really, really cool. I'm so excited. So, let's go see what Sigri is up to, how the election's coming along. If the election happened. Did it happen? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. There you two are. I was beginning to worry you'd miss the big event. Doctor, I even risked Mama. She just left for the town square. The election's starting. But I want to tell her how much I love her. Trust me, Raina, she knows. Well, what are you standing here for? Don't you have to vote for her or something? Blah, blah, blah. I knew time was short, but I didn't realize things were so tight. I hope it's not too late for me to cast my vote. Don't I get to vote? I live here, literally. <laughs> Hurry, Tiffany. We have to get to the town square so that I can cast my vote. Mind if I ride with you? No, come on. We left your horse, like, at the cottage, I think, actually. I can't get out of here. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the town square. Actually, I think I went the wrong way, but that's okay. I mean, you can get here that way. This way, it's fine. Okay. Whew. Did we make it? 
I hope we did. I think I should be able to vote, but that's fine. Let's see. Can you hear it? So many voices coming together in celebration. Raina, I made sure everyone who came by the staples remember to vote. What an exciting day. It's the start of something big. Can you feel it? What the start of something? The start of something big. Yeah. Hi, Raina. When we found out that person who lit GED Pillage our park was up for re-election, re re we had to come out to vote. Good luck to your mother. This is my first election too, Raina. How awesome is it that I get to vote for someone cool like your mom? Of course, I'd much rather cast my vote for you. Thanks. The squirrels finally came around. Look, it's me, guys. <laughs> now it's unanimous. The animals of Miss Far are 100% behind her mother. Of course, I still think it's dumb that they only get one vote to share with me. That's unfortunate. Raina, I talked to your mother about the gr the Grange, and she offered to help set up a farmer's market here in town. She even put me in touch with the owner of the cafe so that she has a different accent. So that they can switch to locally sourced milk and eggs. It's really happening just like a dewdrop Dell game. <laughs> That's wonderful, Kirsty. Your mother is quite a wonderful woman, Raina. Even though I can't vote in the election, I'm happy to be here to show my support. Orvik needs more women in government. As a wonder, all council men haven't blown us up already. <laughs> yeah, there's something I was supposed to do. <laughs> Raina, get over here. Mama! Come over here, my stubborn beautiful girl. I need someone to hold on to in case I faint. Attention, everyone. It looks like the votes are in. Could someone give me a hand with the ballot box? Tiffany. Oh, me? Oh, sure. Uh-huh, no problem. Mm -hmm. You hired her, Tiffany? Take the ballot box to tally. Hurry, the suspense is killing mama. Okay, where's, where is it? Where is... There it is. That is, like, the worst ballot box ever. <laughs> It's okay. It's fine. Okay, we'll go over here. And... Oh, we gotta actually give it to her. Ballot box. There you go. Okay. Let's X this out. Thank you, dear. Now let's see here. If I could have everyone's attention, I will begin the counting. Why not go home and count them in private? Save Sigrid the embarrassment. Sit down and hold your tongue, Councilman Skull. Any more outbursts like that, and I'll disqualify you right here and now. <sighs> I ended my vacation early for this, so we're going to do the traditional Dundal way. The first vote goes to Sigri. Go mama! Then we have three votes for Skull. Naturally. Oh no, wait, what? Oh no, he didn't win, did he? And finally, another vote for school. That brings the total to, oh, it's a tie. It's a tie, what do we, what, what? What do we do with a tie? Oh my gosh, what? Tell me, Tally. That does put us in a pickle. According to the Jundal tradition, the vote goes to the ink. Wait, what, no. I'm sorry, Tiffany, you and your friend work so hard on Sigri's behalf. I'm afraid I'll have to call this election for school. Unless you or Rainer have any objections. Yeah, I do have an objection. He made me do all this work <laughs> when I could have been enjoying some horse riding. <laughs> After everything we did, the snake still wins. I can't believe it. It's just not right. No, it's not right. How could I forget? I don't let her call the election yet. I forgot to vote. I got so carried away in all the excitement, I never cast my own vote for Mama. It's not a tie. Mama would win. This is highly unorthodox. The voting period is closed. Let the girl vote. She has the heart and soul of this town. The election's a sham if she's not counted. Yeah! 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 Let her vote! Let her vote! No! No, 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 no! What happened? The balance flew away? Is that what happened? What happened? What happened? What do I do? Oh, I have to pick up all the things? Okay. Let me see those papers. Is this what I think it is? Wait, what is it? What's happening? Oh! Oh! Cheater! Extra ballots all choosing skull. It appears our honorable councilman padded the ballot box with bogus votes. Slander! Someone must have planted them on me. Boo! Can it skull? Your time is up! 
I think we all know who the real winner is, but first. But first what? But first what? Tell me. <laughs> there is one more vote that needs to be counted. Would you mind taking this ballot to Raina and helping her with the selection? Sure. Where'd Raina go? Wait, what? What do I have to pick up? Where's the ballot? I'm confused. Uh... Um... Um... Don't I... Take the ballot. Do I have the ballot? The ballot box? Oh, I have to go over here. I have to put the ballot box over here. Okay, okay. Okay. Whew. Could you help me mark box for mama? Okay, done. Could you take my ballot box back to Tally? I'm so nervous I could throw up. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, we gotta turn around and get it, I guess. Okay. Let's take it back to Tally. There you go, Tally. Thank you, dear. Now, by the power vested in me, let this vote be officially tallied. <laughs> it's official. Even with the fraudulent balance, the winner is clear. Congratulations, Sigri. You're the new Dundle council person. Woohoo! Go more! Sigri! Sigri! Yeah, Sigri! Oh my gosh, we did it, you guys! We did it! Who would have imagined that sleepy little Dundle would have such a dramatic election? Well, my work here is done. I have a vacation to return to. Please offer my congratulations to the winner. Of course, sure, yeah. Sigri, hey, girl! I'm dreaming, aren't I? I'm still sleeping from the... Now she has she has Raina's accent. I'm dreaming, aren't I? I'm still sleeping from that tea you in the dark whipped up. That has to be it. No, this is real, all right. Councilwoman Sigri. That'll take some getting used to. Living with Raina has never been dull, but ever since you two met up, things have been a lot more exciting here in Dundle. Now that I'm Councilwoman, my first new rule is that Raina and Tiffany are forbidden from starting up trouble. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. This town owes you thanks. You're welcome to stir up trouble wherever it suits you. I trust you. As long as you're willing to help clean up the messes, that is. I think Raina has something to say. Something she wants to say to you. Don't go pulling my daughter off on New Avengers just yet. I'm going to need her help as I adjust to my new job. Nope. Don't pull that on me, Sigri. She dragged me into her adventures. <laughs> okay, let's say, talk to Raina. We really did it, didn't we? Together we're unstoppable. I've gotten so used to riding by your side. I didn't know how I'd go back to my old life. You're, you're my best friend. <laughs> Human friend. I mean, Delander's still my number one. I don't know how to say goodbye, so let's not. Catch you around, Tiffany. <gasps> That's it, you guys. We got a saddle too. Okay, let's take a look at it. Hopefully it has good stats. Actually, it's pretty good. And I actually like it. It's pretty cool. Let me get off of the horse so we can see it better. No, we can't really see it better, but. That's actually a really good saddle. I like it. That's awesome. So that is going to wrap it up for today's update. We had an awesome day. Um, we also had another part of this update, which I uploaded first. So in case you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's the new Valentine's Day race. Really awesome. Worth 750 XP. Definitely worth it checking out. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because Sigri won. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Bye.